develop big appetites. So again, necessity becomes the mother of invention. Don't crowd, for there's plenty for all and plenty waiting for it. Come and get it. The line forms on the right, and they don't have to be coaxed even a little bit. And so mother gets a deserved rest. Double dose, a la canine, and what a meal. After dinner time comes snooze time, with dreams perhaps about sleeping, jumping, and more dinner tomorrow. These are funny little fellows, as curious as you are to know what it's all about. But in summer heat or winter, babies arrive just the same. Keen for lots of food, crisp air, plenty of vigorous exercise. These bright little pups will soon be living up to their name. Huskies, that's what they are. It's mush, mush, mush over the windswept frozen waste of the Arctic. Speedy dog teams, the never failing transportation for northern lands of long winters and deep snows. A dog is the children's best protector. A big, strong Newfoundland or just a little Spaniel. The dog is truly man's best friend. Always on the watch for trouble. True companions, faithful guardians. When he sleeps, it's with one eye open. Always on guard. Where is there a lad who doesn't love a dog? Where is there a dog that doesn't love a lad? And ice cream, too. Share and share alike. Well, for a little while, anyway. Then complete understanding between a good boy and an ever faithful pal. Fast-moving automobiles are always a danger to dogs on the highway. A tragic accident. A grim lesson to puppies that run away and to their owners, too. See that this doesn't happen to your dog in the heavy traffic of today. It's the end of thousands. But save your tears, it isn't as bad as it looks. This time it's a trained dog that lies motionless until his master says, up, but he teaches an important lesson. All dogs cannot boast of private swimming pools. It's a swan dive, canine style. A double header with the pup showing top form. But the best part seems to be getting out. The dogdom, the show of shows. Best in the world parade for the highest kennel club award. Setters stand at attention, while Bedlingtons look sheepish as the judges note their points and thinner. French Poodles, the fanciest dogs in the show. Although years ago they were considered to be high in the retriever class, now they get all trimmed up. And are they proud? A study in streamlined beauty, the Great Dane, a head that denotes kindliness but determination. Then some low boys that are always friendly, the Dashun. No streamlining here, but prize winners every one. Wait a minute, you're not through yet. The small terriers are important. A study in black and white, the noble Shaggy Shepherd. A non-beauty contest of English bulldogs, all groomed up and ready to look ferocious. My, don't they seem fierce? Really, though, they're one of the kindliest dogs known. But you had better treat them kindly, too. The aristocracy of dogdom, the Russian wolfhound from the court of the Tsar. Dogs of all breeds, all colors, all sizes. Ugly dogs, pretty dogs. And of course, a feature of every show, the smaller. It's hard to believe that they belong to the same family. Now for a real dog show. A wagon full of star performers ready to do odd tricks. Everyone raring to go. Up and inspection come first. All up and steady. Attention, please. Get set. 
Okay. Introducing the Now You See Me, Now You Don't dog. Yes, he's it. And he's playing hide and seek all by himself. Now, light footed admiral. Steady boy, for there's many a slip, but he seems to know his steps. Next, happy ascends without the help of wires. Right on up to the top to win a great big hug. Maybe that's why he doesn't mind the trip. Now for Flippo, a whirlwind on four legs, turning with timed action and absolute balance to land on his feet. He's a wire-haired to be proud of. The retriever is the sportsman's dog. In action, he stands at rigid attention until given the signal to go. Soon he's on his way back with the prize. The retriever has been taught to hold the bird tenderly and to without harming it. But the dog of all dogs for sport is the hound. Here is a pack of the finest in any land, gathered around the master of the hound and ready for the chase. The shrill bugle sounds across the countryside, and off they go, over hill and rolling dale, with the eager riders following behind. The real hunt thrills begin as they near the quarry. These hunters are not out to kill. They seek only to stalk their game and bring it back safely and unharmed. It's a deer, a beautiful creature of the woods, swimming to be free. But the well-trained dogs have the scent and they are hot in pursuit. Soon he is surrounded, there is no escape. Thus ends a day of regal sport, such as the gentry has enjoyed since the Middle Ages. When day is done, Dogs, like their masters, must rest, and like all good people, say prayers before retiring. No doubt this little fellow is praying for an extra large bowl of milk, or a great big for both. And so, good night, and very happy dreams. <laughs>